Hey guys, welcome to this fourth edition to this Godot 2D platformer tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're just going to carry on from where we left off in tutorial three. So in tutorial three, we basically had a player which can move around, is animated, flips on the horizontal axis and can collide with our floor and our platforms. So in this tutorial, we're just going to add the background. We're going to modify some scripts to allow our player to jump. And we're going to create our coin as an item pickup and then we're going to end off this tutorial and hopefully in the next tutorial we'll be able to finish off this basic 2d platformer tutorial series so great guys let's jump into it let's start off with something very basic just to get warmed up and we're going to include our background so very simple what we'll start off with is we'll go over to the left here where we already included our background into our project and I'm just simply going to drag and drop that into our scene. So as you can see, it is very big. So we need to resize this uh, ever so slightly. So let's just bring this down so that it fits our scene. So just see how we can get this to actually look not too bad. I bring this down, not too much otherwise. Okay. Let's move that around. Don't want to move the entire thing. We want to just move, just undo this because I've now been modifying the entire game. Let's rather just modify the background. So you have to make sure that you've actually selected the background here and let's move it into place where it makes sense. Bring it down. Let's see how it looks. If we go up close, I'm going to bring it more in. To our scene. I think that's a bit better. It's a little bit stretched, but let's maybe just pull it to one side like that. Looks a bit better. So now what you'll see is that it is basically in front of all our assets, which isn't great. So what we need to do is we just simply need to drag it up. So Godot will render in this order. So this will obviously be behind this platform and that one behind this one, etc. So that's how the draw order is in Godot. So great, we've now got a background. Let's just play, see if everything is still working. And it looks to be working. Yes, okay, great. So now the next thing we want to do is just want to modify our player script a little bit just to make sure our player can jump. So let's start off with uh, going into our player script. And then what we want to do is because we already have these other actions in our script, we want to now create one for a jump which we don't have at the moment. So I'm going to go over to project and project settings and input map. And then I'm going to add something called player jump. So that creates a new action which we can use. And then we can assign the key we want to use for player jump. So I'm gonna click on key over here and I'm gonna press the space bar to assign the space bar as our jump action. So I'm going to hit OK and close. So now we can actually use this in our script. So the jump is a very basic uh, thing we're going to do is we're just going to do the opposite of gravity scale and apply a little bit more jump velocity to our player so that it can actually get off the ground. So let's start off with var jump velocity. And let's give it something uh, reasonable like say 2500. And then what we simply want to do is just over here, do another if statement and get the input. And that's again going to be is action pressed, just like it was here at the top. And we're going to be looking for player jump, which is mapped to our space bar. So now what we want to do is just apply the velocity to our player. So very simply velocity.y, we're going to subtract our jump velocity from our player so I'm going to just put in jump velocity over here. So let's play that, see if it works and see how well it works. We can obviously adjust that velocity to make it feel uh, better and more precise. As you can see, our player is jumping a bit high. Uh, so we can modify that. Uh, for now, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can go and modify it any way you like. Uh, so that we could just get on with this tutorial and move on to creating our coin script. 
So what we're going to do for our coin is we're going to create a new game scene and I'm going to start off with a 2D scene as a root node and rename it to coin. So that's a good place to now start our coin as a base and then the next thing I want to do is I want to create uh, the next, well basically what I need to do is bring in our coin sprite and then from there what we need to do is we need to just resize this a little bit so it makes sense for our main scene. So I'm going to bring this down considerably to about there. We can adjust this a little bit just now but uh, let's just bring it down to something workable maybe like that. Maybe zoom in a little bit just to make it a bit more accurate. Right, great. Then the next thing we need to think about is let's just first save this so that we have a coin.tsen file and we want to do two things now. We want to create a coin area which is basically the same as a, a collision or a collider except that it creates a trigger instead of a collision when something does come into the, the bounds of this coin. So that's going to allow us to detect if our player has touched the coin or picked up the coin and we can then do something with that. So let's first of all just create an area. So what we'll do is on the root node here, I'll add a child node and I'm going to just search for area 2D. Going to re rename that to coin area and we want to make the sprite a child of this. And another thing we want to add is a collision shape 2D so that we can define the bounds of our coin. So add another child node under coin area and search for collision shape 2D. So there we go. I'm not going to rename this because it's not necessary. But um, if you want to make your project cleaner, just do that. And then in the inspector, what we're going to do is we're going to create a shape and it's going to be a circle shape 2D. And once again, let's resize this up to fit our coin. It's a little bit off center there. So let's just move it to make more sense and then resize it about the right shape. That's uh, pretty close, I think. I think that'll work. Uh, save that. And now we've basically got uh, a coin which has collisions and has an area. So now what we need to do next is to create a trigger which will allow us to trigger something so that we can actually pick up our coin. So how we'll do that is we need to create a new script. So I'm gonna start off with scripts here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on new script. Make sure it's GD script and we'll change the inheritance. Let's just start with node for now and we're going to call this coin pickup. So coin pickup script is going to deal with all our pickups for our coins. Create that, open that up and uh, we basically first of all just going to start off by not inheriting from node because we are interested in the coin area portion of this. So let's just inherit area 2D. Let's just get rid of all of this stuff because we're not going to be needing it. And let's just go over to coin area again over here and click on node. So what we want to do is we want to look at um, something called body entered. So it will take in a physics body which is essentially something attached to our player. And then we can figure out if something has entered the space of the coin. So double click on that. It's going to ask us to attach it somewhere. So I'm going to add it to the coin area. And I'm going to hit connect. Uh, valid method, attach a script to the target node. So that's what we'll do. So we created a coin pickup. And what we want to do over here is just make sure we've got our script attached. So go ahead and load the script, scripts, coin pickup, and now we can actually do that connection. So make sure to do that. That's very important. Go back over to node, body entered, double click on this. And you'll see now it automatically creates a method for us inside our script. 
for our coin pickup and now we can actually just do something with that so what do we want to do is just q3 so q3 will just remove an object uh, when this function is basically called so now what we want to do is we just want to actually test our coin so let's put some some coin into our game scene so let's just head over to uh, game.tsen here and open up the game and now what we want to do is drag in a coin so let's just drop a coin over here see what happens and then hit play as you see when we touch the coin it will basically remove the coin from the scene and that is how you do a coin pickup so great guys that's the end of this tutorial hopefully the next tutorial is going to be coming out very soon and we should then be able to round up this godot 2d platformer tutorial series so if you like this please like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get the next update of any other videos that i'll be bringing out also, please consider going over to my website and reading the full tutorial or actually even also, if you like, join the Discord channel. Uh, we have like a lot of discussions in there as well. So please feel free to join the Discord channel. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.